place. Okay, that's very straightforward. The operator's next step is to um, do one click to get to the optics page, and two clicks automatically, the optic arm comes out. The next aspect for the operator would only merely be to bring the um, rework site into view and into a line on the center of the screen, um, just as I've done here with the optics. But while I'm at this page, I want to also show you the power of the optics. So I'm going to move the uh, assembly over to a much smaller item and use the optics here, namely the digital zoom, to zoom in on a very small feature. Okay? While I'm zooming, the Denon RD500 series has autofocus, and that's another nice aspect of um, this digital camera. So, as you can see, we can take very, very small objects, such as this micro VGA, and totally zo zoom in on it to help us do an alignment activity is what, is, uh, what an operator would do. Um, and by the way, the um, capability of this machine is such that I can work on um, parts as small as one millimeter by 0.8 millimeters, all the way up to 60 millimeters. So it has a lot of flexibility in the package that um, it can handle. So I'll now just move back to um, our standard uh, uh, package and site um, to further show you what an operator does. Okay. So we've now gotten the, the site basically um, uh, in alignment to where uh, to the site that we're going to rework. And the next piece for the op for the operator to see is um, to put the part. And we're going to show a simple demonstration of the placement to put the part um, in a pickup tray. Okay, this pickup tray actually the, the tray comes with the machine. In this case, it's just showing an example um, with a screen. Many of our customers do like to screen print um, on directly onto the part. So we just put uh, the part onto the tray. Again, we're in the optics page. And there's not very many selections here for the operator to get confused by. Very straightforward. And we just uh, select component pick. So the machine will automatically go and pick up that part. We remove the tray. We adjust our light, okay, and I'm just going to show you now that you can look, we can look, we're looking up and we're looking down to now align the package to the site. We have X and Y micro adjust and theta, okay. What I like to show customers is, in this case, we've got artwork, so I'm just going to simply first adjust Theta. Okay, make sure I'm online there. Which looks so, and I'll magnify just slightly. Okay, fill up the screen and adjust my theta here. And now I'll bring my sample into play. Okay, and basically simple. I'm in alignment. Now, what I want to show customers too at this point is with the RD500. Um, we can do split imaging. So if I touch onto this uh, first blue line, you now see that I've folded the optics and I can look at the corners to again at a higher magnification um, to see that uh, I am indeed properly aligned. So we just click again and it removes. Or at an even further magnification, uh, what I call Mag 2, we can see that I've aligned the product. So from a Placement point of view at this point, we're aligned, we lock the table down with these thumb screws, we hit operation, because again that's the only page that the operator, one of the two pages that the operator can see. As I hit operation, the arm is automatically moved back. The operator then selects the um, program to run and hits start. What will happen in this mode is that the machine will go to a near place and then slow down to do the final placement. Boom. The object's placed. And now, as you see, see on the left here, we're going to go through each of the five zones of E. And that's simple. Very simple machine to use from an operator perspective. The operator is only concerned about loading the board, 
aligning the part to the board, and selecting the proper program. Um, the engineer could have recorded um, instructions. If there's additional instructions, don't forget to apply flux um, onto the site, etc. cetera, um, so uh, to, to give a little bit more guidance to the operator. And at this point, we'll stop this to, to complete the demonstration uh, for our